is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if this is your first time welcome my name is Gus Noah and now let's get into tutorial number six lately I've been I've been thinking I want you to be happier I want you to be happier. so the topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is called an earthquake effect it's a very simple effect to create so all you need to do is no end camera transitions or anything this is all in Premiere Pro so the clip that you're gonna be using all you're gonna need to do is duplicate that clip and layer it above it and after that you just need to reduce the opacity and then do some keyframing with the positions around another important thing to do for this effect though is to time it when the beat drops that's really where the effect works the best so now I'm gonna take you into Premiere Pro and show you how to accomplish this effect Okay, so now that we're in Premiere Pro, let me show you an example of the earthquake effect. Here's a video that I edited with some shots that my friend took. I'm going to leave all his information in the description. He does amazing work and his filming and editing is on another level. Okay, so here's the example. Let's look at this real quick. All right, now let's look at it again. And as you see right here, you see that little earthquake effect and it that effect happens right as a beat drop, see? That's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do. And when the beat drops, that's the perfect time to do the earthquake effect. So now let's go over here and let's use this shot right here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the clip is selected, click alter option, hold it and drag it above the clip to duplicate it. There we go. So, Right around here, I want to do the earthquake effect. So we're going to go to that beginning of this clip, drag it in a little bit like right there before the line and drag this over here. So that's where the earthquake effect is going to happen is on that clip right there. So now let's select the clip above and go over here to video effects. Let's unselect the stopwatch and let's put it down to, let's say, like 75%. Perfect. Okay. Now you don't see anything yet. This is where you start seeing the effect happen. Let's go back up to video effects to position and you're going to want to click the little stopwatch right next to it to activate a keyframe. Perfect. So now let's go to the beginning of the clip right around here. Make sure that clip is selected again and let's move it over to the right a little bit. See how you see the second shot, but it's like faded. There we go. Now let's select there, activate a keyframe, go up another frame and then move it the other direction like that. Go up a frame again and just move that around back and forth, up and down. You could go either way. That's how you're going to get that effect is by moving around the position like that and keyframing it. Okay, so now that I set my keyframes, I'm actually gonna shorten the clip to right around there. And let's take a little look at it real quick. See, there you go. That's the earthquake effect right there. And another important thing to do to remember is the audio. If you're using a song, a hit or whatever, right when that beat drops is when that effect is gonna work the best. So that's how you do the earthquake effect is a very simple effect that you can do and if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way please subscribe and like i will be trying to do a tutorial once a week and thank you for watching